dealing range. An implied dealing range is not a dealing range like this where it's, we have a real high and a real low. Those are actual. We're looking for a price run from this low up to this order block on the weekly chart. Until it does that, that's an implied dealing range. We don't know if it's going there. Anything can happen. A bomb could drop somewhere. You know, you know, you know, some kind of a hack that hits the markets. I expect that's going to be used in the future, by the way. But that run here, that is a implied dealing range. It has not really manifest yet. But we're seeing with anticipation that that's where the draw on liquidity is. The initial one was here. So now let's go and add our fib to this low. I know this stuff is amazing. And I could talk about this stuff all day long. All right. So right there from this low to that high, which is the weekly order block. What I'm showing you there is the range. Okay. It's an implied dealing range. If we have that, look at the levels I have here. 75, 50, which is equilibrium, and 25. And then here's the high. The high of the run, which is terminus, at the end of the run, if you're going to use this as your dealing, well, not, the, not dealing range, if your implied dealing range, it's where you think it's going to go. So before the candlesticks even form, before they even form, folks, you could have this in your chart like this. 